All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my happy hour live stream of Europa Universalis 4 where we are playing as Cusco in the El Dorado expansion. And, um, yeah, they won't take my vassalage offer. We're at war currently with, uh, Pasajes or Pacaje. I have no idea how to pronounce that. And they won't take our vassalage offer. I'm not entirely sure why. I think it's because they're in a simultaneous war with um, these guys over here. But, and what if, drop your claim? No, that won't work either. So I'm, um, yeah, I think we're just gonna have to wait until they finish their war, which is gonna be annoying. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna kinda gonna have to sit here for now. I'm regretting not renewing my war taxes, but oh well, I'm actually just gonna let it sit because I want to get the next military tech, because that will give us Land morale. Oh, young men and women of Abancé. Gain authority, local unrest. Uh, we're going to take the authority one, and then I'm going to check. Yeah, their unrest is still below zero. And oh no, we have a uh, Charkin Nationalist. I'll go help you guys with your rebel problem. And uh, while we wait to figure out what's going to go on with this war. <laughs> it's kind of... Kind of crazy right now. I mean, uh, this is interesting. I'm just going to park ourselves on their capital. See, I haven't had this before. I've never been able to n not do that. Uh, I can unattach you guys. You guys can go do your own thing. What do you want? What do you want? Uh, no, 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 no. No. Decline. <laughs> hmm. Just end your war with them. And take my vassalage offer. So I don't want to take a province that wasn't a part of my war goal. Damn it, why did I select Chikos as my uh, war goal? Ah, oh, boy. Oh, yes, excellent. We have a new heir and also unrest? Really? Wh where? Where did we... What? Kolan Nationalist, how did we suddenly get unrest? Have I just not been paying enough attention to that? Did that just pop up all of a sudden, or is that just coincidence that it popped up then and I've just not been paying attention? I think I just haven't been paying attention. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's pause. Oh, boy. Why do they suddenly have more unrest? War exhaustion. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. Hmm. What are you guys off? I don't think we're going to be able to end this war <laughs> how I want to. Um... Okay, congratulations, you have your new rival there. I think we might have to accept this piece, which is going to piss off Charka, but, I mean, I don't see any other way of solving this issue. <laughs> it's kind of a big issue here. I mean, uh, no, unfortunately, uh, this country, Kalchakwi, took that province, which is our war goal, first. So they have control over it. And so I can't end the war. I mean, I could end the war in other ways, but I can't do what I wanted to, which is Cusco and Vassal. Oh, oh my god, they'll take it now. Oh my god, yes. Yes. Send demands. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, and now we're at war with them. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That was a thing, wasn't it? Okay, moving down here. <laughs> We are. We are still at war, folks. We are still at war indeed. You know what? Keep attached to my unit here. They're going over here, so... Let's follow them. Hit their army hard. They're going over to Sucre. Okay. We should be able to easily take this one. Excellent. And monetary reforms. Oh god, no. Not stability. But losing inflation. We're going to do this, and it's going to put us into the negatives, but I can quickly do this. And I'm also going to spend 75 Diplo power to reduce our war exhaustion, because that is a necessity right now. And let's follow their army until they die. And come on, come on, keep following them until they're dead. We must kill them. Okay, and that is them... Uh, select army, go and do your own thing, Charka. My god, we could take so many people. 
<laughs> Let's unpause. Actually, I'm gonna go up here. And split my army in two. Oh, nope, they're sending people down. They're going to un, uh, undo their territory. Let's go and carpet siege these guys. So we'll destroy them. Excellent. Oh, an attack. Yes. Military tech three. Lovely. Which gives me the power to make earth ramparts. Excellent. We won't build them now because they require military power. Um, oh my god, Ichma really expanded up here. Hi, Ichma. I'm gonna I'm gonna improve relations with you some more because I like you. You're my friend. <laughs> Let's stay allies. You were a one province miner, and my god, now you have six. Ha. Huh. Alright. Well, Charco's taken back their province, which is good. Why aren't you bringing your whole army down here? You rebuilt an army very quickly. How did you do that? Uh, siege is over. Excellent. Uh, go back with my main army. And excellent. And let's just send everyone down here. <laughs> we'll siege out them too. Oh god, oracles of divination. Uh, lose money. Favorable awareness, blah, blah, blah. Chance of an event, conflicted answer. Um, oh god, yeah, this one is always weird because these two options are always exactly the same. So we'll go with this one. Hey, we got a stability and prestige, lovely. There we go. All right, what are you doing? Oh god, they've... Oh, I need to go destroy their army. <laughs> Oh god, what's this? Call for peace! My people call for peace. No! No, I must destroy our enemy. Okay, let's go back there. I mean, we've got 99% war score. Oh, I have no diplomats. Uh, okay, you know what, Charka? I don't really need to be doing anything with you anymore, so let's wait for that. Alright, we are at... 100% power. So, let's... Separate piece them out first. I actually don't know if I want to make them a vassal. Because, well, I don't think I could handle more than two vassals right now. I'd probably start getting vassals wanting their freedom from me. So I'm just going to force religion. Or wait, no. They already have the same religion as me, don't they? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to check this. Uh, oh, no, they're animist. Okay, yeah, we're forcing religion on them. <laughs> They are now one of us. Okay, so war reparations. Force religion. And... Annul their treaty. <gasps> they won't take these. Really? How do I have zero? Oh, because oh, I need their province. We're, we're waiting. We are waiting. I know we have a call for peace. But <laughs> I need to siege them out so that I have war score with them. I must separate piece them and take all their crap. Nope, go away. <laughs> Damn other peace deals. I kind of want to take them as a vassal. But yeah, I don't think we could handle more than two vassals right now. So we'll keep these guys as vassals. I'll eventually absorb Charka. I think that will be a necessity. Um, We'll just conquer them at another point. So we'll let them go, but we'll make them pay war reparations, etc. Go away. I want to finish my battle here. So we can hopefully take this siege quickly. And, uh, yeah, the unrest over here is the issue that we're getting the rebel faction. Okay, we're done. <laughs> All right, now, separate piece them out. So, just to add insult to injury, force religion, war reparations, and annul their treaties and take whatever money they have. All of their monies. Yes. Wow, they had a lot of money. Okay. Send demands. There we go. They took it. We got some <laughs> we got some inflation off of that. So I'm just going to send my army home, go to there where all the unrest is. So now we will peace out you. Which I will not do Kuskin vassal. Wait, they have force religion as well? Are they not the same religion as me? My god, they aren't. Oh yeah, we're forcing religion all over the place. Okay, here we go. 
Force Religion. Uh, War Reparations. We could also humiliate them, which would just be funny, but no. Give up claims in Charka. Charka would probably be happy about that. Oh, first though, all their money. Every penny they have. Okay, come on, keep going. Oh my god, I'm getting so much money out of this. And also, equally, so much inflation. Um, yes, give up their claims on Charka. Gotta protect my vassals, yo. And yeah, we should be good. We should be good. Send demands. Excellent. Beautiful. All right, so we are good. I have a royal marriage offer, except good harvest. We'll take the admin points because I really don't need the money. Um, and fortify Cusco. Of course, we are going to go and do that. As I do want to. We do need to start building some forts. So there we go. We'll take that, and I'm hoping I'll get a mission for every province because that would really help me get some extra points. So we'll just lay off on that for now. And yeah, yeah, lovely. I have forced my religion upon two other countries. Oh my god, they instantly ran away. <laughs> uh, so the, yeah, they must be able to migrate just like the North American tribes can. I had no idea about that. I knew that they added some other little one province countries over here to South America with the new DLC, but I did not realize they did that. You know what? I'm kind of thinking, oh no, I can't go and help their with them with their rebels. Oh, I was hoping I could. That would have been nice. Uh, but let's see, money-wise, how do we, how are we doing here? How are we doing? 2.4? Let's actually get an advisor. I want quick military power, so... Oh, do I want that, though? Do I want that, or do I want to start teching up someone else? Ha. Huh. None of them are actually that great. Yeah, we'll do the military one. National manpower modifier or morale to armies. We'll go morale to armies. That's always a good one in my mind. So there we go. Excellent. You know what? I actually could get another one because we really don't need to be making money. But <laughs> no, no. And let's reduce inflation. There we go. And yeah. There we are. We are. Uh, we have grown ourselves larger today, which is great. We now have two vassals, which will prove very useful. We have forced our religion upon... Oh, God, a call to arms. Ichma has uh, called us into a defensive... Oh, my God, this episode is just so full of war. Um, we will accept because I like Ichma as my ally. Oh, my God, they're allied with uh, these guys. Okay. Um, accept. Okay. Okay. So, who are my enemies? <laughs> oh, God. Um... Oh, they're screwed. Chimu, you done fucked up, buddy. <laughs> uh, which one is this? Is oh, so it's these guys we're at war with? Or no, just Chimu right now. Uh, the other guy hasn't joined. Oh, no, uh, Chachapoya is on our side. You know what? I joined the war, but I'm not going to do anything with it. Because, <laughs> yeah, I mean... We're not going to need to. With all of our vassals, they'll go and join the war. Eachman's got a good military. Uh, so I think we're good. We have no missions, really. I could fortify my other provinces for, you know, cash monies and points and stuffs. Oh, no, I guess I'll go and help. They do have some enemies there. Oh, did someone else join the war? No, no, they didn't. Who are you? Are we at war with them? Oh my god, I was looking at the wrong province. I thought we were at war with this nation here, but no, we're at war with this one. Oh, me and Ichma are going to go to war at some point with one another. <laughs> Alright, what the hell. I'll go join the war. I'll siege out this province. Should be fun. But yeah, very war-filled week today. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to be going to war with Ichma at some point. We're going to be the two competing powers down here. So, uh, yeah. I should probably start making some more allies up here, maybe. That might be a good plan. So, <laughs> Oh, boy. We're going to conquer the crap out of these guys. They're going to have some uh, religious unrest, though, surely, since they're going to have to convert their animus provinces, since they are now Inti. But yes, I need them to uh, do that so that once I do conquer them, we have religious unity. Oh my, you're over there with its uh, 10 stack. Oh boy, corruption. Oh no. Uh, we'll lose the stability. Damn. 
Should I improve it? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I, I have to. I like having positive stability. Okay, so... Where are they going? Where's that 10 stack going? I'm watching you. Oh, thank God they didn't move in here. <laughs> Alright, my, uh... Wow, my, um... Vassals, that's the word. Oh my, oh my, oh no! I need to go help my vassal over here. Okay, my siege is over. Let's go this way. I'm gonna go help out my vassal while they're at war. Don't want their... Who are they? Peasants? Revolting? No, no, I can't have that. I need my vassals to be nice and secure in their territory. So... Let's see, and that'll be an easy victory. Eight against two? That's nothing. We instantly won. <laughs> Lovely. And uh, I think I'm just going to kind of go back to sitting, sitting nice and pretty. Actually, I'm going to send them to Cusco because I don't have any unrest here anymore. Ha. Huh. Oh, we will soon, though, because I'm probably going to lower their autonomy so I get more taxes, etc. out of them. Oh, especially this one. That's a four-tax-based province. Oh, yeah. So what's your total unrest? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, we're lowering their autonomy. <laughs> That's a four-tax-based province. We, we need that money. I mean, we don't really. I mean, look at all of our cash. <laughs> oh, our truce has expired. Oh, no. We can't attack my vassal? I always love that. You'd think when you became when they became your vassal, those whole truces would just instantly go away, because they're my vassal now. I can do whatever the hell I want with them. But no, no, apparently not. Oh, they're taking back some territory. Hmm. Well, this war is gonna go easy though. Kinda wondering if I could separate piece. Oh, oh, they ended the war. <laughs> okay, that was a short little war. And we have Oh, that's not what I wanted. I mean, that's what I'm probably going to do. I'm, well... Actually, which one do I want to incorporate? I think I'll incorporate Charka into my territory. Because they've got, uh... Oh, God, they've got two gold provinces? They've only got one. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll incorporate Charka. And then we'll vassalize Kalach... Ka oh, God. Kal uh, Kalchakwi. There we go. It took a little bit of <laughs> going into it, but we got there eventually. I think we'll we'll incorporate Charka and then have these two guys as vassals. I think that'll be a good way to go. I mean, you are only three provinces, and you're not even three very good provinces. But hmm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll figure it out eventually. And at some point, we're going to be going to war with... Oh my god, did they release a nation? Huh. Yeah, I think they did, because I think this is all Chimu territory up here during the war. Okay, okay, okay. Awesome. So that's good. Oh, oh no, not more corruption. Man, man, we... Last week, we were getting just one stability... After another on the positive end of things, now we're losing them left and right. And damn it, oh god, it's not going to give me the fortify mission. Screw it, I want to fortify all of my provinces. We're doing it, we are doing it. There we go. <laughs> I want that missionary strength, fort level, and supply limit modifier. That's good things all around. Uh, there we go, admin tech, so we'll get uh, production efficiency and allows the support of rebels in foreign countries. Okay, that's not that great, but uh, all right. And we are at 87 on our authority. God, I don't know what I want to do with these. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking we take the colonist. But manpower recovery speed might be good. Morale of armies. It's a, it's a close race between which of these two we take. Once we have enough authority... Oh, God, no, but we still need ten cities. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, yeah, we're going to have to wait until we uh, absorb Charka. Which, how many years do I have until I can do that? Influence. Oh, I can do it now. Oh. No, I'm going to wait till we tech up one, um, on this one. And then I will do that. Maybe. I think. Possibly. Who knows? <laughs> Oh, God, yeah, I'm tempted to do the colony one because I want some naval or uh, some coastal provinces. So, I mean, like this one, two, two cash, or not cash, oh, my God, two tax base. I think these would be good to colonize. 
But that would be a lot of cash to do. That's not much of an issue. I mean, we have a, a steady cash flow, and once we incorporated them, we'd have their gold as well. Oh, which, God, that's going to raise so much inflation. <laughs> okay, and no, I don't want to... Why does it want me to incorporate passages or packages? However in the hell you pronounce these things, why does it want me to take this one? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you'd think it'd want me to take this one, because I'd get more money out of it with two gold provinces. Huh. Oh, though... Oh, yeah. I mean, we don't... Because we're not Western or Eastern or any of those nations, since we're the Mesoamerican or South American or Andean or whatever the hell we are, we don't actually make a whole lot from gold. I mean, if we were a Western power, we would be making much more from our gold. That's a fair point, but it's still giving us a crap load of inflation. So, I mean, it might be better to take this province. Oh, God, air falls ill. Um, well, yeah, saint trained medicus. Oh, yeah, saint. Uh, oh, oh, God, <laughs> got another one. Uh, I'll lose the prestige because I don't want to lose Diplo power. And this one, yeah, we'll take this because I don't want to lose my air. He's actually a good one. And he died anyways. Damn it. Damn it. I need a new heir. <laughs> huh. See, I don't know. Maybe it would be better to take in Pasejas. Because they have, especially this copper mine, they make some good money off of that. See, I keep forgetting that. Since we aren't, you know, from this half of the world over here, we don't seem to have much use for gold. So we don't actually make a whole lot of money from it. And yet it still raises our inflation up like a bitch. Oh, God, look at it. It just keeps going up and up and up. But, yeah, so maybe we do take them over here. Ah, uh, it's going to make my borders so weird. I should have taken this province when I had the opportunity. I mean, we'll eventually incorporate them into our country. It's going to happen. But, you know, it just it'll be a little while longer. So when can I incorporate them? Uh, in a few more years. Oh, one more year. One more year. Okay. Well, that's not bad, then. Yeah, and this one would take more, um... Oh, 110 Diplo power to do them. 140 for them. Because uh, they have more provinces, I guess. Oh, God. They've got three gold mines. Look at that. One, two, and then three over here. Damn. That is... Really? Zero tax base? Oh, because they're auto... Holy crap! 83 autonomy? What did you do, Char... Oh, I guess maybe because they're separated, they don't have a... They don't have a border touching anymore. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Well, that sucks for Puno. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll take them, and then that will allow us to then conquer these guys. Or vassalize them, rather. Bring them into the fold. So that should be good. That should be good. Mission? You know what? Yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Passage Us. Man, you got a good general. Can I have your general? <laughs> huh. Ichma. I'm keeping an eye on them. We're allies for now. We like each other. But. Oh, truce expired. I'm actually going to send another uh, guy to improve relations with you. Oh, there we go. And just for fun, I'm going to insult you. <laughs> I have absolutely no reason for doing that, but I thought it'd be fun. Oh no, we have rebels here. Let's go help. Everyone attached to this unit, come and help the fight. Damn you, Pasijas. You didn't go and help. Oh well. Um. Oh yeah, I actually brought my military over here to lower their autonomy. Though I don't know if it's worth it at this point. It's only... I mean, it, it lowers by 25... Nah, I'm just going to let it be, because I'm going to have to probably lower autonomy over here. Hello, non-enforcement ordinance. Wow, 40. Gain local autonomy in Chiquaba. Oh, oh, God. Um, That's this one. Interesting. Interesting. 
I actually think I'm going to take the admin hit on this one. Because, yeah, 40% autonomy? Yeah, we'll take the admin power loss. Oh, that's depressing. And hello to you too, Uno Who Four. Welcome to the stream. Sadly, a stream that's about to end, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, I only go till 10 o'clock, so... But, uh, oh, well, thank you anyways. Uh, we gained five prestige from that. Lovely. And almost... Almost. I can almost incorporate them. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Your vassal needs... Oh, oh, God, I need to get my influence up with them. Uh, okay, so we won't be taking care of that this week. I completely forgot to... I completely neglected their opinion of me. Well, that's unfortunate. I was hoping to incorporate them this week, but no, no, I have to wait a little while until we uh, improve our relations enough with them. But, oh, well, say la vie, what are you going to do? That's depressing, though. I was really hoping to do this authority as quick as possible. I'm still going back and forth on which I should choose. So, uh, for you guys in the chat... Oh, God, what is this? Black news indeed? Yes, oh, my God. Our king is dead. We have a new king, though, so that's good. Oh, man, he sucks military power-wise. Eh, he's got good admin, though. Thank God he was around. I, I, f I forgot we... We had our previous heir die. I need to boost my stability up. There we go. So I, I, I didn't realize we had gotten another heir. That is disappointing, though. That he's so low on the military side. I'm actually going to think I'm going to put a focus on military, because of course I want us to tech up militarily. But I don't know. I'll probably wait till the next episode to do that. But yeah, if you guys think I should... um, Which of these should I do? Either colonist... Or manpower recovery speed. Both are important. Both would be good to have. I mean, we've also got yearly legitimacy, morale of armies, and core costs, but meh. Yeah. So, we'll have to see on that. But yeah, I'm, I'm debating between those two. I'll be, I actually think I am going to end the stream this week. I mean, we're at 27 minutes uh, in this second half, and I only go to 30 for each half, but... Uh, yeah, because I don't really see anything else happening at this point, since we're not going to be able to absorb them quite yet. I've got to wait until our relations get up. Uh, but yes, so I hope you all have enjoyed the stream this week. And of course, if you are watching on the stream, you can, if you missed any of the episode today, you can check it out on YouTube, Kodobos Games. On Tuesdays and thir Thursdays is when I put out the recordings. And if you're on YouTube watching this, come and join us Sunday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern for this live stream. And I hope you have enjoyed and, of course, that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one. <laughs>